Hey, welcome back to Builder Academy. This is Dennis, and in this session, I want to introduce the Job Binder, which we use for organizing project paperwork. The Job Binder is the answer to keeping the paperwork organized. When we first began building projects, it very rapidly became apparent that we needed some way to keep the paperwork organized and readily accessible. We tried file folders, file boxes, several other methods, but it all came together when we started using large binders with dividers to hold and organize the project information. Now there are multiple advantages to using the job binder. All physical documents relating to the project are in one place. Your employees know that if they want to find an invoice or finish materials selections or a phone number, they have one binder to look through. Your client recognizes you are serious about record keeping on the job and frankly it kind of impresses them to see the amount of paper that's generated by their project. If you're on the phone with your client you have all the pertinent information right at your fingertips. You can sleep at night knowing that the information you need will be in that binder tomorrow morning. And if a question comes up three years from now about who did the plumbing on the job, the information is in the binder. I was amazed at the reduction in questions put to me by my job supervisors when I started answering their queries by saying, just look in the job binder. The amount of information I had to keep in my head was cut by 90% because it was all in one place. One other thing you might want to consider. The amount of critical information in the binder means that you want to keep very tight control over who is able to access and whether or not the binder leaves your office. The policy we adopted was that the job binder never leaves the office. If a supervisor needs something in the binder, he or she makes a copy of it. So what do you need to put this system in place? Well, you need one large job binder, and generally you can get them for less than $12 a piece at your local Office Depot or Staples or Office Supply Store. And I want to recommend that you get the D-ring style. The other styles are a little bit less expensive, but the D-rings make it a lot easier to sort through the information open and close the binder and you're going to have a lot of information in there so you want to be able to get to it easily. And then you're going to need a couple sets of dividers. You'll need one set of 10 tab which is generally less than five dollars and one set of 15 tab which is generally less than seven dollars. That's really about it for the out-of-pocket expenses. So the, for the binder and the tabs and the whole setup you're going to be less than 25 bucks currently. The other thing that you need is the Builder Resources template package and you can get that free at builderresources.com. Uh, you can just click on the link here or you can go to the Builder Resources website project management toolbox section of the manage your project tab or easier like I said just click on the links. But mostly once you get the system set up you need the discipline and management skills to make sure that all relevant information gets into the binder. Like every other change you want to make in your business, you're going to face resistance when you first begin this system. Just keep demanding that all information regarding a project winds up in the binder. Even the grumpiest site superintendent will eventually realize that this actually makes his job easier. And the day when you hear him tell someone to look up a piece of information in the damn job binder, it'll be worth it. So buy a box of binders, a corresponding number of 10 and 15 tab dividers, and get started. The first thing you're going to do is call up the title sheet template from the download. After you've downloaded it to your, downloaded from the website to your computer, call up the title sheet template. That template looks like this. Starts off with the job name, which you'll type in. And notice that once you type this, the job name in here, it automatically is put in in the spine tab as well. Then you'll complete the rest of the information with the buyer name, project name, the work in process accounting number. That makes it easier for your accountant to make sure that he gets the correct invoices allocated to the correct job. The job number for job costing, the permit number for quick reference, and the date that the project gets started. Once you've put all that information in, you go, you'll want to go ahead and print the page and then separate the spine tag at the dotted line, insert the cover page at the front of the binder, 
and the spine tag at the binder spine so that you can see it when it's sitting on a shelf and you're good to go. At this point you will also have downloaded the 10 tab template. You want to access that. Insert the index sheet from the 10 tab package into your printer and print the template. Place the index sheet and the 10 number dividers in the job binder. The 10 tab dividers cover the general activity involved in building a project. Dividers for budget, proposals and contracts, change orders, confirmation of instructions, correspondence, permit and certificate of occupancy, plans and updates, schedules, specification and phases are all part of this 10 tab template here. The 15 tab template covers the various phases um, involved in the specific activity of building a residence. You have excavation, foundation, framing, trades, and so on all the way through finish. You'll do the same process here, which is uh, insert the index sheet from the 15 tab package into your printer and print the template that's available uh, in the download. Everything relating to the job goes in the job binder. Everything. Every proposal, every contract or agreement, even or especially the old ones, every subcontractor quote, even the losing ones, because you'll want to run some analysis on this project later on, and those will come in handy for that analysis. Every invoice, every trade scope of work, every work order, inspection report, every confirmation of instructions, every draw request, every delay notice, restart notice, notice of acceptance, every correspondence, a copy of the permit will go in there as well, worksite notes, telephone call notes, selection transmittals, and on and on and on. When all the important documents relating to a project are gathered in one binder, you and your client and the banker and any other interested parties can rest assured that you can find that one niggling piece of information you need. By the way, you will sometimes find that job binder turns into job binders. That's a small price to pay for the kind of peace of mind the job binder can provide you. This is one of our job binders. You can see the amount of paper that's generated for a job and the client can see it too and they can appreciate how much work goes into building their house. Note too that the binders get beat up from use. That's a good thing. All the important information is in one place ready to talk for you if necessary. One final note. We are in the process of converting the job binder to digital but haven't completed the transition as yet. One hurdle is trying to get my subcontractors into the new technologies but we're handling that with the scopes of work documents. It makes all the sense in the world to go digital with the ease with which we can copy, digitize, and store documents and then recall those documents through Dropbox on any platform anywhere. I'll keep you posted as we complete the transition because it's going to be something I think we're going to be proud of. Next session we're going to go over the job board. It's a simple down and dirty way to improve communications on the job site. Till then, be safe and keep your business safe with a data capture and storage system like the Job Binder. Download the free template now on the Builder Resources website and start using it today. You'll sleep better tonight. <laughs>